Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert multiple objects onto a page and to align them correctly and also to make the user interface look a little nicer than the first example. Um, starting with a blank page, I'm going to insert uh, a page background image. To choose image and just navigate to a, a suitable background image. I'll have that one. And I want to insert some buttons onto the page, but this time I'm going to choose different directory. I'll drag on an audio button. I'll also drag on a home button. And an iPod button. And a lighting button. Okay, um, I can now select a box around all those objects to bring up the group layout options, uh, various alignment options, for example, align left, um, as a distribute evenly vertically. I've also got things like align horizontally center. vertically center and again distribute evenly I can also resize buttons by going to the uh, bottom right hand corner and dragging and again by selecting multiple objects I can decide to make them all the same size as the largest I can single click go back to the image options revert to the original size select them all and make them all the same size as the smallest to get them back. I can also choose to increase this or decrease the size of the button but maintain the image by deselecting the auto stretch image option and then this area shown is the pressable area of the button but all the user will see is the image in the middle. size. Another way of aligning objects is with the grid. I can turn the grid on and choose the size of the grid. And if I select snap to grid, I can only move objects around within the framework of the grid. So it's quite easy to align objects, give them equal spacing. I can delete objects by single clicking pressing the delete key. And I can also select individual objects by control clicking. So if I control and click that, I've selected those two objects only. 